Hi, this is AJ again, and I will be reading Llama Llama Loves Camping. So, I hope you all enjoy the story, or will enjoy it. And, uh, so we need it. here we go. Here we go. All right. Llama Llama Loves Camping. I'm excited to go camping tomorrow. Llama Llama tells his friends he has camped overnight. Neither has er, he has never camped overnight before. Neither has Nelly Gnu, Luna Gilroy, or Elslid. I can't read. Uslid. I can't read it. Sorry. It will be super fun. Mama Llama says, and Grandma Llama and I will be with you the whole time. Camping is going to be very different from being at home, says Llama Luna nods. We'll be out in the open under the trees and sky. We won't have any kitchen or house things like a refrigerator and an oven or light. Says Gilroy. Michael, not yet. Uslid? I can't read it. You're fine. Looks worried. After all, he loves gadgets. We can't use any machines while we camp, he asks. That's right, says Mama Llama. We are just going to bring the essentials. Essentials are the few things we really need, but don't worry, oh, Uslin. It's only for one day and night. The next day is warm and sunny as the campers arrive at the campground. Welcome to our overnight, overnight adventure in the woods, says Grandma Llama. Llama Llama and his friends cheer loudly. Everyone has one bag except for Uslin. He was scared. Go. The next day is warm and sunny as the campers arrive. Campground. Welcome to our overnight adventure in the woods, says Grandma Llama. Llama Llama, his friends cheer loudly. Everyone has one bag except for Uslid. He's carrying two. Don't worry, explains. I only brought essentials. That's a lot of it. It, essentials, Nelly says with a laugh. Okay, camper, says Mama Llama. Let's go for a hike while it's still light outside. The slid pulls a handheld gadget out of his one of the bags. I can plug our route into my directional device, he says. Remember, the slid llama says kindly, no gadgets allowed. The slid sighs. Okay, he says, putting it away. No using gadgets isn't going to be easy. Mama Llama leads the campers along a trail in the woods. Wow, says Llama, looking around. These trees are so tall. I wonder how tall they are, says Uslid. Can I measure them with my digital tape measure? Luna shakes her head. No gadget, she reminds him. Oh, yeah, Uslid says. When the group gets farther into the woods, Mama Llama asks the campers to stop for a moment. Let's hear the sounds of nature, she says. What do you hear? Llama pauses. I hear a bird chirping, he says. I hear leaves rustling, says Luna. I hear a tree creaking, says Gilroy. Nellie points to a bee. I hear him buzzing, she says. I hear all that too, says Uslid, and I hear water flowing in the distance. The sounds in the woods are very different from the sounds at home. Yeah, says Nellie. Those are machine sounds. Beep, ring, ring, wee -oo, wee -oo. She laughs at her imitation of a siren. Usla pulls a tape recorder and a camera from his bag. I just want to make a recording to remember the sounds. He explains. Mama Lama smiles at Usla. For this trip, let's just listen hard to remember everything, she says. I forgot, says Ursula. This is no gadget thing. It's tougher than I thought. After their hike, Llama Llama and his friends help Mama Llama and the Graham set up their camp. Instead of a house, they have a tent. Instead of a refrigerator, they have a cooler with ice. And instead of an oven, they have a roaring campfire. It takes, ta it takes some work to camp out. It takes some work to camp out, says Mama Llama, but it helps you appreciate the nice things you have at home a little more. Later, the campers eat a delicious dinner around the fire. Now it's time to 
It's time for dessert, says Grandma Llama, handing out six sweet. Just eat these, asks Gilroy. No, says Grandma, laughing. You eat these marshmallows after we roast them in the fire. As the sun sets, everyone roasts marshmallows over the fire. They taste delicious, even better than a dessert you make at home. It's getting pretty dark out, says Nellie. It is, says Uslid. But it's pretty nice roast roasting marshmallows in nature he adds with no gadgets finally it's time for bed um inside the tent the campers get cozy in their sleeping bags um once all they're all tucked in mama llama has an idea let's listen closely to the sounds outside and pretend they're music she says the campers close their eyes they hear crickets chirping they hear a bird calling they hear a wind whooshing and an owl hooting Sounds like they're all talking to each other, says Mama. The music of the forest is very peaceful as they listen to the nighttime sounds that campers slowly drift to sleep. In the morning, sunlight streams into the tent. The campers wake up be- feeling refreshed. Mama Llama and Grandma are very proud of Llama and his friends for spending the entire night in the woods. But everyone is especially p- proud of Elucid. Good job, cheers Llama Llama. You didn't use any gadgets on our camp out thank you says Ulucid. Ulucid. it was a fun challenge so like i like the woods the other campers agree can we go on another hike before we leave nelly asks we sure can but first breakfast can we we can use my electric waffle maker says Ulucid. oh wait he adds that's kind of a gadget isn't it He's made it this far without using machines. He isn't going to stop now. The end.